Keanu, thank you for joining us. How excited are you for Friday night? Super excited, you know, super, super excited. It's been 11 months, you know, it's just grateful to be fighting again, you know. So if you've had that 11 months out, was that down to injury mainly? Yeah, and some uh, personal, personal problems, yeah. Yeah, but you're feeling ready to go now? Yeah, 100%. I wanted to start off with a pretty important question I mentioned to you last time. What is your walkout song going to be? Hopefully you've come out with some amazing walkout songs in the past. I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be this <laughs> Friday night. Uh, it's Fabulous, Feed Jeremiah, My Time. Cool, so Have you heard of that one? Yeah. I'm not going to sing it for you. <laughs> yeah, you're going to sing a bit? <laughs> so if you like to come out to a different walkout song every time, a lot of fighters stick to the same one, they have different superstitions. I was wondering, do you have any superstitions? I used to, you know, but, but then I stopped worrying about little things, you know, focusing on my fight. Excellent. Well, I was saying you're fighting in your hometown or your home country, Malaysia. How much difference do the fans make? I mean, obviously they go wild when you and your brother fight, when Aguilar fights, when any of you guys fight. It's amazing, you know, the energy I feel, it makes me happy, you know, gives me confidence, motivates me. Cool, okay. obviously first fight in 11 months, that fight was against Christian Lee. What did you learn from that fight? My cardio sucks. <laughs> I certainly learned. I, that's what I learned, yeah. And uh, I've been doing a lot of research, a lot of studying about energy systems. I feel like that's where I was, uh, my knowledge in that area was um, really, yeah, I didn't have knowledge in the energy system. So you feel like you're, and I've been, you feel like your cardio yeah, is going to be a lot, is a lot better now? Definitely, 100%. <clears throat> well, looking back I'm on that fight, up. in that first round, you dominated Christian Lee, and no one's really dominated him like you did that first round. Then obviously, I, think, I guess you must have got tired, but that must give you confidence, the fact that you're the only fighter, really. I mean, even Martin beating him didn't really dominate him like you did in that first round. Yeah, and like I said, every loss is just a lesson to me. I learn from it and improve. I thrive through these moment, moments, you know. How much do you watch your fights back? And how much did you learn from watching them back? Oh, I watch it all the time. Sometimes I'm mad about my, mad at myself, but I, I've learned to accept what, accept it for what it is and, you know, see where I can improve from there. Get you have a win or you learn, as they say. What's your take on the featherweight scene at the moment? It's stacked, you know, a lot of guys coming up, guys that I fought already, they're doing well, and uh, new Japanese guys, that's, a, that's interesting, you know, it would be, I feel like in Asia especially, if you beat a Japanese guy, you're going to get that um, recognition. Yeah. What's your take on your opponent this Friday night? I think I could only I, I could only find one video of him on YouTube because most of his fights are in China and apparently they, they don't have YouTube so <laughs> I didn't get to watch much fights but uh, he's uh, primarily a grappler I think yeah. you're feeling confident you're excited for it yeah super confident and super excited yeah. cool it's, it's one super series first visit to KL how much have you been following the One Super Series? Yeah, I've been following all the all, all the events. You know, I grew up watching Petrosian, Justin Klein, all those guys, and now they're fighting for one. It's crazy. I love it a lot. <laughs> it is amazing. Obviously, this fight is in a cage. Would you like to fight a fight sometime in in a, in a ring? I think it'd be cool. You know, it'd be a different experience. My first fight ever was in the ring, so. Of course, you've got a bit of experience. <laughs> It'd be cool to fight. Quality. And just lastly, I just want to ask you about your brother Gianni. Obviously, I think 
the plan was for you both to be on the car tonight. I guess he's still not uh, fully fit. How close is he to coming back to, to fighting in the cage? Uh, hopefully soon, man. He, he's been having this knee problem, ongoing knee problem for the past six months, and uh, he re-injured it last month, so it's going to take a while, I think. Uh, hopefully before the end of this year, we'll see him back. I think one's coming back to KO in December, so hopefully we see him back then. Well, sending my best and uh, good luck to you Friday night as well. Looking forward to seeing you back inside the cage. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Looking thank forward you. to that walkout song.